How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Enrique CTV, and this is the fifth episode of Girls Last Tour. Uh, very interesting episode. Last episode, we had a temple, a very weird, out of place built temple that for some reason has power on its own. Uh, and that's kind of really all we got out of it. We had the episode kind of fade out at the end. Um, so you know where they are, you know kind of their placement, and that's about it. You don't really know what else is going on with it. So I don't know if they might pick it up right kind of where they are, or if they're going to skip ahead a little bit. Um, someone brought up a very good point on the last episode in the comments. I saw that the date is actually on the camera, so you can kind of keep track of the timeline for them a little bit and kind of see how long it's been. Uh, so I kind of need to go back and notice that and check uh, from when we first saw the camera with uh, Kanazawa, right? And till now, because I haven't kept track of it and I just saw that uh, kind of like pretty recently. So I haven't looked back yet and checked, but that is super cool. Now we have kind of like a basis for things. But the whole thing with the gods, God, very interesting. We don't really have kind of a lot to go off of, but we know that something is there. So I don't know if it has anything to do with where the show's at right now, what has happened here. It's an interesting thing to include um, when you have such devastation like this, but I, am, I imagine it's a man-made thing and that's why they're in the position that they're in, but we don't know. So let's hop in this episode and find out. Interesting. They love their ripples in this. So clearly we just went. We left already, so what? No more, no more worrying about the gods. The really interesting thing though that I've noticed already, yeah. Electricity and water. They made a big point to show that already. Yeah, I mean that's been the whole show though. We've seen a lot of house, a lot of kind of residential places where people have lived and yet nothing. So it's weird, it's very weird. That's crazy! That's an insane thing. Insane thing to say. So these are technically houses for them? Because that's crazy. These things are studio apartments, bro. <laughs> they are not houses. They might be homes. They might used to be homes. But this shit is a fucking studio apartment. Yeah, that's our, that's our car. No. It's a home. <laughs> How sad. Way long time. Well, how do you mean long time ago? You can't be that much long. Maybe that explains why the electricity and water is still flowing. Someone might be here. Open the door. Or knock on the door. Actually, they probably don't know to knock on a door. Oh shit, does someone live here, bro? Hmm, I don't know. That's a it's a great shot, but a spooky shot. Yeah, the water's running. It's weird, bro. The show is so weird. That's a big sun. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, ugh, now I'm worried though. If they're gonna stay here, people might someone might show up. What dream? Whose dreams? Why has this been lost to time? We gotta get some merch, dude. A bunk bed, bro? <laughs> like, they don't know what a bunk bed looks like. Are they doing that like the Sims, bro? <laughs> They're just having dreams. This is crazy. This is so sad. Just that all they can do is like imagine their their peaceful life. I want pantry for food. Shelves for food. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna furnish this whole place and it's gonna look like a home. But they're gonna have to wake up and go outside. But when's the last time they've seen a plant? Yeah, these are some insane visuals. Yeah. 
first time they've got a chance to relax and feel normal. Wow. Yeah, literally, they're out, bro. <laughs> they are out cold. Oh, those lights were real. Oh, shit. I mean, I should have expected that. But I didn't think about the lights being real. Got a fan in there, too. Everything works in here, so why is no one here? <laughs> Yep. Yeah. Resupply and get out of there. I'm surprised nobody actually showed up. Part of me was thinking that was going to really happen. You could turn it into an RV, dude. You could absolutely turn that thing into an RV. Yeah, it's a house. You're good. You're fine. That's enough room. <laughs> Look at all of the fucking rubble, though. Look at all... The what the fuck is that? What is... Why are they like that? It's so trippy. And it's funny, too, because they actually keep track of it. You can just barely see the darkness above and then where it's lighter on the horizon. Because there's still stuff above them. That's not good. That's not good. Hey, wake up. Ooh, that's not a wall, that's a hole, bro. Whoa, did a wheelie on that thing? You can do that? <laughs> oh, shit. Literally was asleep, almost died. You guys need to go for a walk. Get those legs moving. <laughs> Had a great time dreaming. Or is this like another time? Classic. Leaving them for other people to see. Once they start driving away, though, that thing will just fall down. <laughs> oh, wait, no, they're playing fucking Jenga. <laughs> Rock Jenga. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. That's how you win. <laughs> Literally, just start throwing hands, just like, no! No! Maybe lose again! Bro, she got her hooked. There's no breeze right now. I hope she somehow won, scamoozed her, and took all the, uh... Yeah, she, she lost it. Never mind. This truck... Look at why the structure's like that, dude. That's so weird, trippy. Why are they like that? Flashbacks? Close her eyes for a flashback? Yeah, <laughs> sir! What are we getting, bro? Give me the lore, feed me the crazy shit. That's, that's terrifying. It's your dream, just lock in. Just hold on to it. Bro, I love how oval-shaped she is. Like, oh my god. It's Attack on Titan! Be careful! Must be that breeze, dude. That breeze is shaking her up. Yeah, there it is. Silly little breeze. Sending her into Never Never Land. <laughs> That's crazy! Absolute menace, even in the dreams! Bro, that is absolutely attached. Holding on by a thread. Falling, she's gonna wake up. Or not. Or instead, we're gonna just start watching Kingdom Hearts uh, cut cutscenes. When you walk away. Bro, is she out here fucking. Oh, she made a nice little cute rainbow. Riding a fish. Here we are. I haven't seen the ocean, have you? Welcome. Welcome to the list of protagonists who haven't seen the ocean. Oh, that's right. She already mentioned that she hasn't seen the ocean. <laughs> what am I saying? Is it Godzilla you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, huh? <laughs> Bro, dream sequence, you? Hell no. 
Why is she always such a menace everywhere she goes? Looking like a goddamn whale. Yo, know, what a... But no, she's not a fish, she's a whale. That's a different... A different thing. It's just dead fish coming out of her mouth. Oh no! Be careful! I mean, that's fair. That's a fair point. I'll give you that one. And you're dead. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't wake up as she was falling. She'll probably wake up now. She's gonna have a terrible time the next morning. There we go. Here I was hoping that we were gonna get a flashback. Instead, we got the most chaotic dream sequence of all time. Oh, she's chilling. She's like ready to go now. She's like, all right, come on, wake up. Why are they going back? Keep showing the, uh... Bro, oh, she put a rock in her mouth? That's insane. <laughs> Bro's gonna have absolutely torn up teeth after this. They are leaving. The sound of rain. They've had snow. They haven't had rain yet. Probably an equally bad time. If not worse, to be honest. Well, I wouldn't say worse. Probably equal. Yeah. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta find a roof. Now, here's the, here's the question, right? Where's the rain coming from? If there's a thing above them. <laughs> How does that happen? All right, that's something. I thought there wasn't enough room in there, but I guess there is. Sweet. Very good. There we go. I was wondering why they weren't just underneath there. And let that shit dry in a little for a little while. And just wait it out. It's weird because I keep thinking they're kind of kids. But every time they take the big jacket off, they look like normal proportionate sized adults. So I don't know what their deal is. Someone in the comments let me know, like, how old are they? And if that's a thing I'm going to find out, then I guess don't tell me. But I mean... It does confuse me a little bit, kind of what, who they are, like how old they are, and I guess their whole their whole deal. But I guess that's part of the show. Do it again. I thought that I thought that was gonna be something else. I was scared for a hot second. Bang it again. <laughs> it might be empty in there. Ooh, nice catch. Damn. Ooh. Literally wetting her own tongue off in a second. <laughs> I guess it's clean water. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Damn. Yeah, they love their ripples. Why, though? There's something in the water? This water specifically. Bro, I think... I think I think she's getting high, you's getting high as shit <laughs> off this rainwater. Hell yeah, we making music. You dropping a B on this, guys? Come on. The sound of rain is healing them. I wonder what the ripples, what that kind of, that glow is signifying for them. Ooh, hollow, so it be banging. They're making those, uh... They're just trying to get those tones, you know, like the... Meditation tones, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all they're trying to do. They're like, let's get that, let's get that vibe off of these cans. Bro, literally, she's like, yup, yeah, that's good. <laughs> she's gone, she's out. That's, damn, that's right. I haven't listened to music either, bro. Every time they say some shit that they haven't listened to or heard or done, it's crazy. I, like, forget every time. Maybe they're going to actually start making their own music, like, right here, right now. Try and, like, take some stuff in and out. Yo, whoever made this, like, the actual track for this went crazy. <laughs> That's so creative. 
Damn, that's how you end the episode? That's crazy, just going straight into the credits from this weird-ass song. That's nuts. What a, what a show. Our music, it stopped. The banger, it's gone. I wonder if their clothes are dry, though. That's the real question, bro. Yeah, from all this sound, all this music, to nothing. Wow. After credits seem to have this. Really? Yeah. Hey, you guys deserve some time off. It's so trippy, this show is so trippy! This show is so, so trippy. It's so crazy to me that this exists. Like, I feel like this is just, I mean, I think I've said it before, but it's such a tough show, I think, to nail. And I'm sure from kind of like the lack of things I hear about this show, that this is probably not everybody's cup of tea, but it's a very specific thing. And it's, it's meant to kind of invoke this feeling in you, this kind of longing for, longing and appreciation for what we have right now. And like being able to go out and be normal, everything's fine. Uh, and I think like by the end of this, obviously it's gonna feel like we should be learning and appreciating kind of what they don't have. And I don't know, like I'm probably gonna try and go into the story a little bit of this show afterwards or this manga, just kind of to know who made this and why. Because there's some shows and there's some things that are written where you kind of just want to go into like the reasonings behind things, you want to break things down. I, as someone who went to school for filmmaking, for uh, all of this kind of stuff, uh, script writing, story building, like I hate personally, I genuinely hate breaking things down in a way where it's critiquing as opposed to just like enjoying. I'm an enjoyer. I want people to just enjoy things. Some things, yeah, sure, deserve hate, but in school, when you're learning about these things, there's an unnecessary amount of like nitpicking on things. Uh, sure, you can kind of get deep into things and break a lot of stuff down and give a specific reason as to why a thing's not good. But when it comes to something like this, is not really breaking down why the show is good or not, but trying to break down the meaning of the show, the reasoning behind the show, why the characters do what they do and act the way they act, and how kind of that relates to us. And there's clearly a lot of meaning within this show that kind of automatically and immediately relates to where we are right now. And <clears throat> this show is a little bit, I mean, not really a, like old, old, but it's uh, 2017. So seven years ago, which is fucking crazy to say, but seven years ago. So we kind of have this weird, and actually I don't even know when the manga was written because it could have been longer before that. Um, Normally it is, but a lot of recent stuff has been like the year of it's kind of getting an anime, so who knows? Let me know in the comments when the original run of this kind of was. It is interesting to me kind of how, you know, there's music and they're making this sound because they think it's fun and they're just like, we're trying to not kill time, but like they're trying to do something that's interesting to them. That They're trying to do something that uh, is piquing their own interests. And we already know they're they're interested in different things because of how they stayed in the apartment and kind of relaxed for a little while. And you kind of get a sense of how their individuality works within the show as well as how the characters care about certain things as opposed to, you know, other things. What makes life worth living almost um, if you really look back at it and kind of how she was like fortunate that they had to like four four walls and a roof. It's it's something we don't think about, you know. I don't think about this, you know. And I'm just here. It's because I live here. But like, you know, I don't have to worry about getting in my car and going to the next place and hoping I can find the next place. They do, and in the world, there are some places right now where that is the case, where you have to hope for the best in wherever next place you're gonna go if you get there. So that is kind of this show too. It's if they get there. We don't really know the specifics of where they're going, but we know there there has to be kind of a goal for them to continue on because there isn't stopping, really. They're stopping to sleep, they're stopping to eat, they're stopping to do very necessary things that they need to do, the things that they've deemed necessity. 
they stop to do or get, but they always know that they have to keep moving. So what does that mean for their characters? Kind of what does that mean for everything in general? I We're still learning, but we keep getting these little bite-sized pieces of the lore of the kind of overall thinking and feelings of these girls on their perspective of what the world is. And it's really interesting that a lot of this stuff is abandoned. Uh, I That is something that kind of takes, not takes away from, but um, is a little bit separate from what we look at it you know, when you're trying to compare it and relate it to the, the meaning and the emotion in this show kind of relating to yourself. But that being said, obviously everything still hits very well. And you it just, it builds the interest of them and like how they're going to be later on and what they're going for as you watch the show. So I'm very excited to hop in the next episode. It's, there's been a lot more surprising than I thought it was going to be, but I really do like this show. So hopefully I'll see you guys in the next episode. Please like subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know every time i post girls last tour and i'll see you guys later peace